Hey guys, how you doing? It's uh, Biggs with the Carta Faction. Um, I've got a two-part video here. The first one uh, is with a sad note. This is the first time in our team's existence that we've actually had a member pass away. Um, some of you guys have seen him in other videos. Um, you've seen him in the live shots you've seen him in pictures uh... his nickname was sledgehammer and uh, his first name was shane we never uh... talk about our our actual names or share anything about our actual lives unless we want to um, but um, sledgehammer uh... He was going through a lot of uh, bad times during this COVID-19 pandemic, and it's very hard to go over all this, uh, but he ultimately took his life, um, and, you know, I, I did not see this coming, and although I'm not in any, you know, mindset to discuss you know the details of this or what not but what I want to say is this we dearly miss Sledgehammer and you know that I've never met anybody like him and um, he was the one of the brains behind our team um, he was known as the engineer of the team and uh, I have to say this if you have any friends any friends, family members, anybody that you care about, and um, they're going through hard times, you check in on them, and you check on them often. Uh, you know, I, these are unprecedented times. These are the situation of this, and I'm going to do a video about, you know, the pandemic itself and and all this. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to do it, but like I said, now's not the time. Check in on your friends, your family, your loved ones what they're going through is not how what you're feeling or what you're going through certain people go through very difficult things that you could not understand and I I did not understand the severity of certain things that he was going through and um, I can't beat myself up about it and you know I, I just I'm out of loss of words but um Please, you know, be there for your friends, your loved ones, your family members, your teammates. Um, suicide's not the answer. And if you guys are feeling down, depressed, sad, um, thinking that there's no way out, there's always options. There's millions of options. Um, talk to people that you love and you're familiar with. Explore those options. That's why we have these boards back behind us. Um, we, we go through trouble trials tribulations all the time you know work it out talk it out um, life is tough you know this this situation we come we're in right now it's making tough men out of us and uh, Shane was a tough cookie um, you know we know him as sledgehammer and that name <laughs> a name fits him um, we're going to get a little moment of silence. I'm wearing the old TATF hat as a memorial remembrance of Mr. Sledgehammer. Um, you know, there'll never be another Sledgehammer like him. And uh, I wanted to share a, uh, a picture uh, with you guys of Mr. Sledgehammer. And, you know, we'll, we'll do a memorial video down the road here. Uh, and I'll talk about uh, you know COVID down the road as well uh, but let's take a little moment uh, to share with you who he was if you don't know and then we'll get into our mail call part two we miss you buddy Okay. 
<clears throat> forgive me um I'm not my normal self today <clears throat> um like I said we we just got blindsided by a lot of this stuff and within hours we lost another person as well uh, a f teammate lost another family member it's never easy and uh, I'm seeing this happening to a lot of folks all over the internet um, people in my timelines just it's just bad situation um, we're gonna get into this part two this is the part two mail call of the alpha gear that we had cov covered before <clears throat> in this video I'm not gonna put their website up we do not recommend you buy anything from alpha gear uh, I think it was alphagear.com and uh, you know lots of bad reviews horrible way to ship stuff this is the way it comes see this second package if you're gonna send something you send it all in one okay it's not like I'm buying a refrigerator okay you got two little packages here the first one came in you know we had these you know the goggles we you saw that in the part one we got the uh, what they call sniper shades knock off Oakley's you know the these products um, they're not the best in quality I thrash my gear um, so, you know, you get what you pay for. This was free items that they gave us um, as a promotional kind of deal. And, uh, you know, I'm seeing fraying on some of the stitching. It's just cheap quality. Um, I do not recommend it. And I, I don't want to bash a company, but the way that they shipped it took like two and a half months to get it. Uh, a lot of people didn't even get their stuff. And I don't want to represent companies that that operate businesses like that you shouldn't do that either your money speaks for you your money has legs it walks okay this is from overseas I, I don't even want to buy company stuff from overseas anymore to be honest I think about the only company that I would look the other way is Toyota they have jobs here in America um, they you know they make stuff over overseas and then we assemble it here <clears throat> that I can understand buying but anything else I think you should buy American in this time age uh, where countries are going after each other and everyone's coming after America for some freaking reason you know go America go home so let's open up this crappy looking package look at this look at this wasting air time basically so here we go one slice right open let's see it I might be wowed you know I doubt it first item looks like a, uh, a belt of some sort here's the missing cell phone or pouch of some sort looks like a mask of some sort the tactical gloves quote-unquote another tactical pouch of some sort and the missing all the stuff was missing from the first package this looks like a monocle cheap Chinese box really key features fully coated multi coated fully multi coated rubber coated it doesn't even mark what it is just taped around it not impressed not impressed so here we go we open this up <laughs> a little cheap whatever um, this is really like nylon -y. it feels like it's like a mace can um, I don't know it I wouldn't want to put this on anything, you know, if you look at it. It's, uh, I mean, look at the stitching on that. See that? See this right here? Look at that. I don't know. Looks cheap. Um, they That's cool. They got this little microfiber uh, towel 
thing. So this is a monocle. Um, you're supposed to be able to look at it and uh, adjust. You know. Um, I don't know. It. Uh, I'd, I'd have to play with it. So it's 10 by 25. 101 m over 1000 m uh, supposedly the distance range um, it feels pretty cheap I mean the rubber doesn't even line up if you look at it the rubber doesn't even line up um, it, it smells pretty bad um, I don't know just cheap jury's still out on this thing um, and what's weird is like you can put this in this little thing here but I mean there anything can get in there dust grime it's not sealed um, I'm gonna kinda cover it up and you know I'll, I'll get this out out in the field and I'll, I'll you know play with it or whatever but I'm not impressed by it um, next up is like the tactical bag of some sort um, like I said when I got less than half the items on the first shipment I assume they, they're not going to ship everything. Uh, who would send two little envelopes separate? Because they're cheap. And they don't want to send everything together because it would cost more. So they send them separate. And they take two and a half months to get here. So here we go. Um, this is a little bit better quality. It's a tactical pouch. It's got buttons on the back. It's got uh, you know, the uh, multi-strapping kind of deal like all the other bags I mean this may be a little bit more useful you know you can make it kind of like a fanny pack you can put it on your arm I mean there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with this I'm not gonna rag this one too much there's multi zippers inside of here so it's got kind of like two three little bifolds there is a front zipper and there is a velcro patch the velcro patch actually has an X pattern across it um, the zippers feel solid. This feels like a quality, like semi-quality item. I could use this. I'm not going to dog this. Uh, next up, the so-called tactical gloves. These are actual mechanics gloves. Mechanics, like the company mechanics. That's surprising, to be honest, because I don't think the website advertised mechanics gloves. Um, so here we go on the front I like the color there is a rubber coating on the front of it you can see um, it is mechanics style gloves I like mechanics gloves because they are good quality gloves the velcro feels really good it's not uh, like a nasty velcro where it catches on everything uh, it's a it's a mid weight glove it's kinda like it's not heavy um, I love these working on cars, trucks, all that stuff. It's kind of like got a grippy pattern to the back. This is a quality item right here. This right here is a quality item. I like it. There's a little misstitch here and there. There's like a couple frays. But these are work gloves um, for the most part. As far as uh, tactical gloves, these you don't have such a good feel with these gloves. So why would you put these as a tack glove? the feel the touch of this is not good your fingertips should be able to operate uh, electronical devices okay uh, let's try it out let's see so far uh, you know what let me let me do a proper uh, test here um, like I said the the modern uh, tactical operator he's, he's got gadgetry he's got things like like this on the fly when we're running our ops I need to be able to have my tablet in the go, my cell phone in the go. I can't use this on that. Uh, like I said, these are really, it's kind of bulky. It's for big items. Um, it needs to be thinner, uh, more quality of a texture. But I mean, these are, these are good for what they're used for. They're not used for tactical gloves. So obviously, these people that operate this website, they really don't know what tactical gloves are. But these gloves happen to be quality gloves. So, for different usage. Okay, next up we have like what's called a tactical belt. Looks pretty small to me. 
It's just in a Ziploc bag. There's nothing really exciting about the presentation of it. Um, so here we go. Uh, we've got adjustable um, buckle here. We got some kind of uh, is this like a looks like it's like a plastic cheap plastic clip right here. I don't know if you want to hook I don't know Chinese cheap crap to it. There's a cheap plastic buckle. I feel like this come off a backpack. I don't view this as a tactical belt of any sort. Uh, I could be wrong. This could be like a quick little vacation belt to throw in some trunks and jump into the lake. Um, would I would I use this in any tactical application? No. Look at the fraying. Can you see that? That fraying right there? Look at that. See that fraying on the top right here? I don't like that. Uh, any brand name tactical belt wouldn't have that and they they wouldn't use this material it's just it's kind of cheap but uh yeah we'll, we'll find a use for it i might be able to strap a bag down or something with it uh we got some kind of oh look at that made in china not impressed not impressed so here we go it looks like a bakava um uh seems like it's breathable. I'm not going to put it on. Uh there's no odor or anything from it. it. Looks new. There's fraying. See this? See that? Fraying from it right away. Stitching looks cheap. Cheap stitching. Um I go through these every so often and now with the whole COVID thing, uh, I could use this. Uh I guess. I don't know. We'll maybe throw it in the car somewhere. You know, who knows. And the last item here is some kind of uh, like clear tack, tack bag. Like a little handy duty, cutie, little, I don't know what you call it, a little hook. Okay. It's got, it's, too, it's really cheap to this. This is real, this whole thing right here is cheap. The zipper feels pretty good. Zipper has got like a little, a couple little insert things here for like cards or something, access cards. I don't know tactically how you would use it. You know, you got like a little band right here. You can put it on bags or something. This could be like a luggage card that people can access for some weird reason. Uh, I mean, you know, you could use this for so many different things, but the quality, it's not, it's not of quality. Again, fraying, look at this. If I'm buying anything and I've got fraying of the stitch, to me it's garbage. It really is garbage. Uh, why be in business if you're going to make crap? That's my question to retailers. If you're going to make crap, why be in business? Look at some of the brand names that are out there. If they made constant crap, why even do it? You know, to me, crappy brands need to be plugged off the market everything needs to be of quality <clears throat> if I made something I would have the honor of saying this was made in America by Americans that didn't mean that it's just crappy stuff crappy material crappy threading there's like what four items here that have crappy threads just afraid about not even caring um, so one or two things are good quality or decent quality um, and the rest is pretty much crap so $129 uh, I paid for shipping of these items did I get my money's worth well I can't complain there um, I've paid you know 10 bucks for some goggles to protect my eyes from a majority of dust not all but eh. You know, if I if I sized up this stuff, um, I, I think I've paid up to twenty four bucks at one time for a pair of mechanics gloves. Um, so that alone is, I think, a screaming deal. Um, all this other stuff, though, I mean, I paid ten bucks for one of these before, Maclava. I don't know. I think it was okay on the deal. I just think that you know this this level of material is garbage. Um, 
I wouldn't buy it. Please don't buy from Alpha Gear. Now there are other companies called Alpha Tactical, Alpha this and that. You know, check those those companies out. Stay away from Alpha Gear. Um, you know, like I said, I will put the exact website to stay away from uh, in the notes. I'm gonna update my review that I gave him because I ripped him a new one on the review uh, on text. Uh, so I'm gonna go back and do them the justice and say, oh yeah, they finally did ship everything. Another what? Couple days later, after the first crap that they send, and it send another pile of crap and the same crappy shipping method. Um, you know, uh, just crap. Stay away from crap, guys. So that's all I have for today. Uh, you know, I'm almost approaching 20 minutes. I don't want to go too long on this, but uh, thank you for watching. Uh, once again, promote uh, American companies, promote American workers, promote good products, things that work. I'm not going to sell you on a 720p camera, you know, when they got 4K all over the market. Get things that work things that make sense. Do you need 4K? You probably don't. 1080 is kind of the way to go. Um, but you see what I'm saying? Like, get what you need. Make sense of it. You know, make sense of it. Um, out of this, most of this stuff is pretty sensible. I could use most of this stuff. I'll find a use for it. I might even give it away to a new prospect or whatever. Um, sometimes I do that with a lot of the stuff that I get. I get a lot of product. Um, and, you know, I don't have time to do... I got all kinds of products sitting here that I have to review and I will get to it but you know make sense of it guys please make sense of it thank you so much for watching uh, this is Biggs from the Carta Faction and uh, we're saying you know thank you again uh, you know rest in peace to Sledgehammer uh, we're gonna miss you buddy all the guys from and gals from TATF we miss you um, it's gonna be a, a hard couple of months uh, going into this thing um, just not having you here uh, so anyways thank you guys please subscribe click on the subscription button the little bell make sure you see all of our, our videos that come out uh, give the thumbs up bust those uh, keyboards out get some comments in there you know give a couple thumbs up for uh, mr. sledgehammer and uh, you know please if you have any trouble with it with life or anything like that speak out people are here to help you yeah anywhere you go speak out tell people okay all right, thank you. Have a good day.